you guys, it's Chloe and today I am here with Sage and we are going to be doing another fun finds video holly type thing for you guys today. I literally have so much stuff, I cannot even like fit it into the frame, but um, I have so much awesome stuff and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So this is the stuff that I got while I was on my trip or on my, my summer vacation. I went to San Francisco. It's away, I did get a bunch of stuff, some of it's even back there for my dolls. Um, my budget was pretty small, I didn't want to spend too much stuff, spend too much stuff, spend too much money, so I didn't buy too much, but while I was away my grandmother made my dolls some super awesome stuff and I wanted to show it to you guys. So I'm going to show you that first because they're my favorites in this video, so yeah. So this big white thing that you see back here. Here it is, it's very, very big. It has kind of like a little scalloped edge and then it has a little top part up here. This is actually, um, whoops, oops, okay. This is actually a little mantle that my grandmother made for my doll's fireplace. So another thing that my grandmother made, she actually made quite a few of these. I believe she made four and they're in different colors but they're mattresses for my doll's bed. I always needed some new mattresses but I never really bothered to make them but she actually made them. I'm pretty sure that these are out of some old pillowcases like I'm like 95% sure and then I think she just like cut them in half because she sewed a seam here and this is all hand sewn by the way um, down there and then she stuffed it and I'm so excited to use these. She's like, she like measured my doll beds and everything. Purple one. I literally still can't even believe that she made these. I'm so excited to use these because I always wanted one. And then the last thing that she made, I have displayed all this lovely stuff on. It is a picnic table and it is entirely made out of like popsicle sticks, which is crazy. But then she has some little like wire things to hold it together as well. And then foam board down here to help support it. Um, it's like insane. It's a little bit, she's not totally done with it, but she still wanted to give it to me when I came back. So it's a little bit wobbly. We haven't like totally like fixed the wobbliness of it, which is why it does like tip. But the dolls can sit on it and stuff. Um, it's so cool. I never even, ah, it's gonna go out on my patio. I'm so excited to use it. I, it's so awesome. I love it so much. And okay, so yeah, that was all the stuff that my grandmother got me. And then now onto, I guess like the actual fun finds of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with what I bought first and I got these at Chinatown. They are these little soy sauce, soy sauce bowl dishes. They were actually only 50 cents. So they have these really pretty designs on them. Kind of like blue white. I thought they were really, really pretty and for 50 cents I couldn't pass them up. So I actually got two and you can see the table's still kind of wobbly. Just tipped over but um there they are they are so cute i can put like noodles and stuff in them i really really love them they are so cute and they i don't know if they're real glass but um they're definitely pretty fragile so i'm surprised that these made it through the whole trip without a scratch i'm so glad they did though absolutely adorable 50 cents so cute and then the next thing that i got is over here and this is when I went to the Redwoods. I got a Junior Ranger badge thing, and I'm a little, I'm, I'm pretty old for this. Like, I'm surprised they still let me do it. But I do have this little brown vest for my dolls that I made, and it was supposed to be like a Girl Scout vest, but um, I don't, I don't have any patches or anything on it, so it's just like a brown vest. But I think this is gonna go on it. I think it'd be super duper cute. Um, I don't really have anywhere to put it so I think it'll go on that little brown vest. It is really small though, it's the perfect size for the dolls. Here it is up on Sage. Here it is right by Sage, as you can see, it's like the perfect size for a ranger badge. I think it's really, really cute. And then, um, from the airport, I'm not really going in an order anymore, whatever. From the airport, I got this. It's a magnet, but the bread can like kind of come uh, out, so it's a magnet and it's for San Francisco sourdough and it's like a bread in this little bag. The bread is like kind of taped onto the back. If I really wanted to get it out, I could, but for now I'm just gonna leave it in the little bag. And it, it is the perfect size. It's like literally perfect. It's amazing. And now um, onto the next item. I'm just gonna show you guys this. This is a needle, don't laugh, this is a needle felted alpaca. I got it like a farmer's market outside of like a grocery store we went to. And he was $7, um, his name is Jerome. Jerome 
and he was like my travel buddy like wherever we went we like took photos of him outside and stuff and we sent him back we sent the photos to my mom so he was like our little traveling companion and um I don't know yet if he's gonna live in my room or the doll's room but I'm pretty sure the doll's room he's like the perfect size for a little toy for Molly or like a little horse for one of the mini dolls so I thought he was super duper cute and he can fit perfectly in the dollhouse as well so I thought he'd be great for this video but yeah that's him and then we went to the Jelly Belly factory for like 10 minutes because it was so busy but um there was a company there called Travis Credit Union and they were doing like a thing where you like spin the wheel and you get free prizes and my brother got this little piggy bank but he gave it to me so it's just this itty bitty little piggy bank it does work there's a little thing on the bottom you can like you know take out and stuff um, but it's just a perfect little doll size piggy bank um, I thought it was super adorable and it's free so what's better than free nothing but yeah so that's the little piggy bank and then lastly the thing that I'm most excited about that I got on the trip are these little dresses and I'll show you them up close I got two different styles I got this kind and then I got kind of like a kimono thing and I saw these at the store in Chinatown and they were originally $5.95 but they were on sale for $1.99 and we saw them and there were just like a ton of them in like this box I was like oh my gosh those must be doll dresses like what else could this be but then we checked out and the lady was like oh you got drink covers and I was like oh that's what these are so yeah but for $1.99 I couldn't have passed them up I got four I got this blue one I got a red kimono I also got a green kimono and then I got a classic red dress now the thing is um, I'm probably gonna have to do some fixing definitely on the kimono with the sleeves but I thought it'd be fun if we tried one on right now so I'm gonna actually gonna try on the blue one on because I think that one's my favorite so I'm gonna try both of these on right now put them on sage or I guess another doll and we're gonna see how they look and I'm gonna see what kind of changes I'll have to fix these up with if I'll have to put like velcro on the back or something we will see but I'm gonna go ahead and try one on Okay guys, so I tried to put it on my doll and then I realized I couldn't, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. Um, it's definitely fixable. I won't, oops. I can definitely um, fix these really, really easily. If you guys want to see a tutorial, let me know. Maybe I'll do one. I don't know. But um, basically, um, <laughs> the sleeves are sewn together. That's super easy though. It's like a seam ripper, two minute job. The neck is pretty small. It's pretty small. That's gonna be an easy fix though. Um, I'll just have to open up the shoulders a little bit and then re-sew it. I might have to take off the collar. I don't know, we'll see, but um, that's pretty much all I'll have to do. Everything else, the sizing looks right. So it looks totally perfect, except for those few little things I gotta fix up. So that is all for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I know you guys always really like my fun finds videos. Um, I know some of these weren't fun finds, but they were so cute, I just had to share them. But, um, yeah, alright, I'm gonna go now, and then I'm gonna go clean up my dollhouse for a new dollhouse tour because y'all have all been wanting one so badly, and it's coming, guys. Just you wait. But thank you for watching. Let me know what your favorite item was. Um, for me, I don't know. I like them all for different reasons because I got them places that were fun to go to and fun to be at. But let me know what your favorite item was, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!